Hi everybody. Uh, it's time for tech news. You guys, you guys ready? I don't. I can't do this. Call I can't do this. I'm not fine. doing this. You're fine. You're I'm. Fine. You can do it. Okay. 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 Smartphone makers are having a tough time fitting better and better cameras into phones, but Samsung thinks they have a solution. Take it out of the phone entirely. Why not? Sure, why not? A patent filed by the company in 2017 has been spotted, describing an assembly of lenses and camera sensors that could be built into a stylus pen. Images in the patent show an array of lenses that could be lined up to create a powerful zoom camera, with a sensor in the rear that would relay the images to a smartphone. Now, the Samsung Note 9 allows the user to trigger the phone camera with their S Pen, but this design would mean that you could actually take pictures with the pen, possibly eliminating the need for a selfie camera on the front of the phone. Oh, That's pretty cool. Yeah. Awesome, why not? Although, that would probably make for some awkward maneuvering to try and capture your best angle. How would you even do that? Bam, 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 bam. Bam. <laughs> I, hate, I hate it already. Dope. Just kidding. Maybe it's really cool. I don't know. We're going to find out, aren't we? Hey, you thought phones with an 18 by 9 aspect ratio were pushing it? Well, Sony thinks that you thinking that is dumb. Not really. I don't know. I can't really speak for Sony, but... You know. If some leaked press renders are any indication, the company is apparently planning to launch their Xperia XA3, a phone with a 21 by 9 display, the same as ultra-wide desktop monitors in some films. But not only that, it's got an old-fashioned regular top bezel instead of a notch or cutout for the selfie camera, which adds even more length to the device. Some more mundane details include a side-mounted fingerprint reader, a USB Type-C port on the bottom, and a headphone jack up too. Whoa! Nice. nice! Let us know in the comments. Drop a comment. Would you guys want to see a 20 month by 9 phone? Who are you talking to? My friends. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. And the tech world pretty much universally bashed AT&T when it started displaying a 5G E logo on Android phones connected to its 5G evolution network. Because it's not actually 5G. It's LTE. <gasps> but now... Apple has apparently jumped on the bandwagon of misleading names, right along with Windows 10 and Battlefield 1 and 5. An update to iOS 12.2 has caused the 5G E logo to appear on iPhones in areas where AT&T's fake 5G network is in operation. Funnily enough, this isn't even the first time the two companies have pulled this stunt. They did the same thing when upgrading the iPhone 4S to 4G back in 2012. We'll all be able to tell when 5G gets here because I'll be poning noobs and Apex Legends on my phone while I bust to and from work. Did you just dab? I didn't You're, dab, I almost dabbed. It looked like you were dab. I could Apex dab. Apex Legends, dab! Love them! Apex Legends, get on it! Yeah. It doesn't matter! Now it's time for BitQuits! Your favorite cereal. Brought to you by Brilliant. Why'd you say BitQuits? It's my name and my cereal that I'm gonna make for this channel. Are you stuck in a morning commute every day? And take five minutes and exercise your brain with Brilliant's daily problems. Each problem provides you with the context and framework that you need to tackle it so you learn concepts by applying them. These thought-provoking challenges will lead you from curiosity to mastery one day at a time. And if you want to continue learning, there are more challenges and a helpful community to guide your adventure. Plus, the first 200 TechLink viewers to sign up get 20% off an annual subscription. So head to brilliant.org slash TechLinked and finish your day a little smarter. On to the quick bits. Security researcher Linus Hens, no relation to Linus, has discovered and demonstrated an exploit for Mac OS that could expose passwords to hackers. But he says he won't provide details to Apple or help them patch it because the company's bug bounty program only applies to iOS and not Mac OS. It's not fair. Yeah. Maybe you should just hack Mac OS and say it's using 5G instead of Wi-Fi. Then Apple will pay attention. Cause they, cause they, cause the other story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Check that out. Images have leaked of what is supposedly a smaller, cheaper version of Samsung's upcoming Galaxy S10, known as the S10e. The device reportedly features a 5.8 inch screen and a dual lens camera instead of the triple lens setup on the S10 and the S10 Plus. It will, however, have the same camera cutout as its larger siblings, and we'll probably hear more about the device at Mobile World Congress in a couple weeks. That's cool. I'm gonna get one. Already. How, how do you know? Pre-order. That's what they always say. Never pre-order. <laughs> Google has launched a Chrome extension called Password Checkup that'll automatically notify you if credentials you're using have been involved in a known data breach, and it'll suggest you new secure passwords. This is cool, but Google still have all your passwords. What if Sundar Pichai goes rogue and decides to take everyone down with him? Hmm. You know, seems like a nice guy, but you know who else is a nice guy? Not Riley. Hey! Ooh, got him! Got That's him! Not what I wrote. Yeah, buddy. Microsoft has made the baffling decision to advertise its subscription-only Office 365 suite of apps by bashing its other non-subscription version, Office 2019. 
The company's new ads pit sets of identical twins against each other, showing how the one using Office 365 can use all the new fancy features, while the other one struggles like an idiot. Yeah, all done. You're all done with what? <laughs> buy our product, but if you want to be a butthead, you can buy our other product too. Yeah, that doesn't, that seems weird. Yeah, geez. And if regular Tinder just isn't for you, try Refriger Dating, the new app from Samsung that lets single people send each other pictures of the inside of their fridge. Whoa, sounds hot. Oh, Refriger Dating is an app for phones and for Samsung's family hub refrigerator. And it's basically fridge Tinder for people who don't have a family to share the family hub fridge? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are tech companies smoking these days? Because I want some. No. Oh, okay, no, I don't. And I also don't want to continue hosting these episodes anymore because it's over. Thanks for watching, guys. Go ahead and smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. We'll see you on Friday, but I gotta go. I got stuff to do. I'm a busy guy. I got meetings, phone calls. I gotta watch some YouTube videos. But there's more tech news. Bye bye.